So in this video, we are going to learn how to collect form responses from WordPress in Airtable. Now suppose guys, you are using a WordPress site, you are running a WordPress site and you are using some kind of online form building application like Elementor, JotForm, WP Form, Google Forms or any other form building application and you have added that form in your WordPress site. Now you want that whenever you receive a response in that particular form, you want to add those responses that form form submission data into your Airtable database. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So using this automation, first we will be getting a response from our form building application like Elementor or whatever form building application you are using in your WordPress site. And after that, using public index automation, we are going to add those form submission data into our Airtable and create a new record over there. So in this video, we are just taking an example of Elementor forms which I have added in my WordPress site. But instead of this, you can use any other online form building application and add it in your WordPress site. So guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on PubliConnect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of PubliConnect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as WordPress form automation. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first here in our trigger window, we have to connect the form which we are using in our WordPress site. So here guys, this is my WordPress site and here in my WordPress site, I have created a form using Elementor. Now, instead of Elementor, you can use any other form services like WP form, JOT form, type 4 or any other form services, whatever you are using, any online form service using which you have created a form and added that form in your WordPress site, you can basically use that. You just have to select that same application, that same online form building application over here in trigger window. So in this video, I have created this form using Elementor. So that is why here I will be selecting Elementor. Select Elementor. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new form submission as the trigger event. Now guys, as I told you, instead of Elementor, you can use any form application according to your choice. Or if you have already created some kind of online forms using some application, just select this application in trigger window. So here guys, using Elementor, I have created this form in my WordPress site. And we have to connect this form with Public Connect. So we have selected the trigger event as new form submission. And after selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to connect our Elementor form or whatever form which we have created and added in our WordPress site inside Public Connect. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help tags given below over here. So for Elementor, just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created. So this is the form. And we have opened this form in edit mode. When we hover on this form, on the right side, you can see this edit button. Just click on it. And then after clicking on it, on the left side here, you can see there are several different options. Out of which there's an option named as actions after submit. Just select this action and here in click on this add action step button. And from the drop down, select webhook over here. Now, as we select webhook under action after submit, here you can see a new option of webhook is added. Just click on it. And here guys, you can see a field. Now in this field, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Public Connect. Just copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here. And after pasting it, just click on this update button. And in this way, you can actually connect your Elementor form or the form which you have added in your WordPress site with Public Connect. So if you're using some other kind of form, every form have a different process of connection or adding the webhook URL. So you can just refer to the help text given in Public Connect workflow. And then you can just follow those instructions and add the webhook URL to connect your form with Public Connect. Now, after updating it, whenever we are going to receive some response in this form, the details or the data of that form submission will be received inside Public Connect. And we are going to do the same. Here we have the preview button, just click on it. 
and in a new tab here you can see that the same form will be opened in preview mode now here let's enter the details of a dummy user for example dummy name this is the name of the person now this is the email address which we are entering now let's enter a mobile number as well and then at last let's enter a company for example popcorn this is the name of the company and then just click on send so as we click on send button we can see that this form has been successfully submitted and because we have connected this form with public connect which we have added in our wordpress site we can see that automatically this form submission data will be captured inside public connect and yes here in response you can see that we have the same response we have the same name same number same email and the same company so in this way you can see that whatever form you are added or you are using in your wordpress site you can basically just connect that same form with public connect and get the response form response from your wordpress site inside your public connect workflow now using public connect we are going to send this form responses form details which we have received from wordpress to a table now here guys to do so just scroll down come to our action window and here in choose app search for a table select a table and then in action event from the drop down select the action event as create record click on connect and select add new connection now here we have to connect our a table account with public connect and to make this connection we have to enter the api token of our a table account now here you must be thinking how you can get this api token now to get it just go to your a table account and here guys on the right side click on this profile option and click on account after coming to this accounts page just scroll down and here you can see the api token of your a table account just copy it from here go to public connect and paste it over here and then just click on save and after clicking on save we can see that our a table account will get connected with public connect after making this connection here the first thing it asks us is the base id and in the drop down below you can see a list of all the bases which we have created in our a table account can be seen over here and out of all of these bases in which base you want to add this wordpress form response data you have to select that base so i have created a a table base named as wordpress data so here in public connect from the drop down we are going to select that base wordpress data and then after selecting the base here we have to select the table so in this base here you will see that i have only one table right now created named as form responses that's why in public connect you can see the same table form responses just select it from the drop down and then all the column of data which we have created in our a table account in this table we can see all of these four columns over here as fields in public connect name email mobile number and company so the form data the form response which we have received from wordpress or should i say elementor inside public connect we have to basically map this response of form submission one by one in the respective fields and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and in the drop down you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from elementor or wordpress from form submission can be seen over here and out of all of these responses select the response of name and map it in the field of name now we have to use the same process of mapping for other fields as well like start with email just click here and from the drop down map the response of email then here in mobile number from the drop down map the response of mobile number and then let's map the response of company as well so in this way all the data form response which you have received one by one map all of these details all of this data in the respective fields of a table and after mapping it just click on save and send test request now when we click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here is basically added as a new record as a new row in a table so let's check it we will go to our a table account and yes here you can see that the same details which we have just now added in this form you can see the same data has been added to a table as a new record as well now this means the automation workflow which we have created using public connect is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever you will receive a new response on your wordpress site in whatever form application you are using automatically after submitting the form we are going to add that form response in our a table database so guys after setting up this automation let's test this automation once in real time
Once again, we will go to the form which we have created and this time we are going to enter the details of a new user. For example, this is the name of the person. This is the email address of the person who is submitting the form. Let's add a dummy mobile number. And then a company as well. For example, Google, just a random company and click on send. So just now we have received another form submission on our WordPress site. So the form was created using Elementor and we have created this automation workflow. And as this form is submitted on our WordPress site, we will see the form response is now automatically added in our Airtable database. And yes, here you can see that it is done. We have the same name, same email, same mobile number and the same company. The same form response has been added. This means this automation workflow is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.